What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're going to be taking a look at my latest project, and it's one that you guys probably didn't even know I was working on. And it is the HG Gundam The Origin MSD uh, MS06CK Zaku Half Cannon. Now, I, I had this one for quite some time, and in fact, someone was supposed to have won this from me in a contest like a long time ago, but never claimed it. It just kind of disappeared. So, here we go. And uh, I'm trying something new with the lights today. And it'll either benefit things or make it worse. So far, it seems to be benefiting ever so slightly. But we have a very nice image here of two different uh, half cannon Zekus going around here. Got some nice guns going this way. Smokiness, all the stuff around here. Hmm, I wonder who the artist is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Maybe it's more Shida now, Chica. Maybe. But you got one cannon here. You got like a machine gun style there. Really nice thing going on here. You got somebody got blowed up on this side though. So that part sucks. You got Bandai 2017 made in Japan. I do wish I had actually built it in uh, 2017. It probably would have been a good one for that. Still got the old school logo on there. So you know it's old school. And then we come down to this side. And you've got obligatory front and rear shot there. Along with <laughs> an intermediate shot of the thing. And you got an Earth Federation Forces counterattack intensifies... The ground forces of Principality of Xeon are forced to apply emergency repair to its damaged machine to reinforce its military strength. The half cannon is the same mobile suit as Zaku 2 Type C with addition of 06K's backpack. Okay, that's why it's a CK. That makes sense. Backpack is equipped with a 180mm cannon or Gatling gun and twin smoke discharger. That's actually pretty cool. I also carry a big gun for use in battles by groups of mobile suits. I actually dig that. That's pretty cool. And you got a whole big thing over here about the MSD. You know, that's the mobile suit discovery. And then come around to the side. You got number 19 in the line. Is that good? Have can't better. I'll be done yet. And I got a burp. And you got actions. Big gun. 180 millimeter cannon. Gatling gun. Go one or the other. Shield. The model's characteristically massive proportions and wide range of joint motions allow for realistic action poses. Really hard to say. Getting a bashed corner here. I was wondering why I was having a problem putting it together. Um, gimmicks and weapons. You've got face can do this. Chin can do this. It can add red arrows beneath his chin. It's better than what I got beneath mine. Shoulders can do this number. See the armpit. Oh, that. Mm. And then you've got an axe right there. Hand parts. Uh -huh. Markings. Poly bag, low got toilet. Warning, three-year-olds don't like half cannons in their face because they're eyeballs. And look, we still have 1,800 yen listed right there. So, you know, 20-some-odd dollars probably. I don't remember. But it's a thing. Watch it. Watch. Guys, guess what's going to happen. It's going to be a... Wait, I forgot to look. Oh, nope. Yuta Atani. That was my next guess. My bad. I almost forgot the artist. Look. It's upside down. Y'all never guessed that would happen. Did you? Did you? Okay, maybe you did. Because it always happens. All right, let's get to it. Lights. And boom. Oh, hey, hey what are you looking at there, buddy? Oh, okay, so here we have the little brown Zaku that could, basically. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. It's not exactly the colors that they show on the box. It's got a little bit more a sand color going on I mean, it's not bad especially under these like really bright lights but you know it's pretty cool i like the color separation between this and this and then you know the darker browns and then adding some grays now i did add some paint here and there so some of my favorite is dark gray ever go look in the about section if you want to know what it is so just dabs of paint here and there fill in this spot there 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 in there look i kept the snout piece on this one Right in there, somewhere right here, right on there. Now this is just on, you know, just because I wanted to break up the gray a little bit, not that it needed it. Got some there. Now places that it did need paint was here, like specifically on the leg thrusters. Um, and yeah, I think that's the only spot that definitely needed the paint versus where I wanted to add paint. But as it goes, it's a pretty neat looking Zaku. And it's definitely uh, like their version of a... A gun cannon so i guess if you're gonna have a zaku cannon that's the thing now presumably that was something that sort of existed because they said there was a type k <clears throat> and type c was the thing that 
already existed. Now, I will say that the major thing that I dislike about this kit is, of course, the stickers. And by that, I mostly mean the stripes. The red stripes all over this thing are a huge pain in my butt, uh, especially here on the legs and there on the chest. Um, it is panel lined with brown panel line marker for the most part everywhere, except for on the gray parts, which is done in gray. whoop de doo So let's take a closer look at that head sculpt. And it looks good. Not really head sculpt. Now I use that kind of eye. You don't have to use that one. It does give you the option. It is just the normal ball joint thingy. So he can't do, 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 do. He has limited turning abilities. Probably do just to this big old cannon. But you can kind of go around it if you have to. It does move up and down. So you can do that. Though it is attached. At least this version is attached to a big belt fan. Belt fed chain. You got the chest part here. Which does have... The cool little butterfly. Now you do get a choice. You can use this chest or you can use the type or the, uh, the C5 type, I believe. So I think it's a, a J. Dang it. I just looked these things up. Hold on. So you have the type, the type C5, which is this chest, and you have the type J. You can choose between, but of course, with certain bits, you have to like stick with it. There's no other choice. So if you go with this, piece of chest you have to change out this part and a couple other things that keeps peeling it's annoying also you do get the origin level of stickers all over everything uh i forgot to mention it you do get the other just shoulder butterfly not just the chest butterfly can go all the way around and you can move it up this shoulder armor does go up and out of the way but for some reason the shoulder is pretty limited nope i guess it just must have been stiff because i can get it almost 90 degrees out so that's not too bad and he can do a high dozel. I don't know if dozel is still around at this point, but it doesn't matter. You do get bicep swivel and a double jointed elbow, which is interesting. So it's up here and down here. That's pretty good. I did add gray inside the elbow joint. It's unnecessary, but I like it. You get all these stickers around here. These spike stickers are the easier ones to put on. Other ones like this are a pain in the butt. You do get a normal wrist swivel down here. You get the normal waist here with the ab rocker that does work right through the middle there. It's pretty good. It does look nice. The front skirts already come separated because Zaku, so that's pretty cool. Although it's so narrow, you almost don't get any benefit out of it. But let's see here. And the side skirts don't really go anywhere. So he doesn't do a Jean-Claude very well. But he can do a decent course line if you rock the hips forward it gets even more ridiculous i like that big double jointed knee with a really nice cover down there i like that you do get the standard hoses back here so that is what it is and yeah big old butt skirts and things like that side skirts some of that zaku design has always been a little silly to me but it looks good you do get the normal ankle down in here and you get the foot that can technically tilt, but never really does. I don't know why. It's like they give you the ability to pivot the toes, and then they don't actually do it. So I don't know what the point of that is. So that's pretty cool. Now, I would show you how to swap out all these parts to do the thing, but that is kind of annoying. I'm not going to do that. Now, if I were to get a second one, I would definitely have it like set up as the alternate mode. Now, he does have a few accessories. Let's look at the basic ones first, and it is different hands this you have a resting type hand that's the right i don't know why i don't think there's a left one oh yeah there's a left one it's right here i'm sorry so and uh i thought there was six handbacks i can't find another one so maybe there were only five i don't know but i think you actually yeah you can't borrow that one so i don't know what happened there that's weird. So you have the left hand for cradling any large weaponry if you need to. Of course, the basic hand's there. And I had the normal trigger hand here for if you're going to have a normal gun. But I don't think he has a normal... No, I don't have a normal Zaku gun. Or if they did, I didn't build it. <laughs> it does come with the Heat Hawk, as usual. This is the uh, compressed version, or... The activated version usually goes right here, but I had the hardest time getting it to stay. Like, it kept wanting to pop off if I was, as I was manipulating things. So, there's that. Oh, I do have him missing 
a piece. Hold on. I don't know why that wasn't attached. So I forgot this version also gets one of the big guns on the side or whatever it was called. I think it was just called a big gun or large gun. It does have like an ammo clip sticking out the bottom. It's all molded in together. It does have this little pivoting arm here and the handle that can pivot and what I guess is two barrels. That's pretty cool. And it does plug in right here just below the 06K sticker, which I didn't even because I built this thing. and wasn't paying that much attention, if I'm totally honest. Didn't even realize it had 06K stickers on it. And I think he might be able to finagle that through the hand without having to remove the thumb. But I could be wrong. Probably wrong. Yeah. I really, I hate having to open up the hand to put stuff in the hand. To me, that's annoying. Come on, get in there. Get in there. There we go. And see, that's where I said that you know, the axe tends to get knocked off. So I think it would probably do a little bit better attached to the booty back here. So it's more out of the way, even though I know that's not where it went. But you do also have the awesome Gatling gun, which looks cool. This does have a mount back here. And like I said, it does have like the chain, the chain feed going into there, which is pretty sweet, if I'm honest. It does pivot up and down. I don't believe it rotates. It's just kind of stuck in there. And they paint the bands here darker gray. Now that is another option you can change out. So let's go ahead and pull it up and out. There we go. And it is just a little poly cap in there. And then this just unplugs from there. Pretty neat. And you can swap it out with the big 180 mil cannon. Which, you know, I kind of dig this design, if I'm honest. I like how it's even got the little shield here. For the face that's pretty cool and well, i gotta fix that polycap ever so slightly and also now this one is a heck of a lot less restricted but you can tell that's like boof you know, you know. but because you now have lost that belt feed <clears throat> you can totally use the right side a big gun thing so that's one reason i left both holding hands on here so you could pull that off and i'm a fan of this i'm not gonna lie like half of the reason i dug this thing is just like i like these side cannons and you know it's a pretty cool design that the all the guns are basically mounted to the backpack so if he needs to and just kind of uh free himself so to speak he just ditch the backpack and go straight up normal zeku but I like that. Although that the way I have them aimed, they look more like they're like propulsion things. It's just like no, he's supposed to be shooting things with that. Um, they do pivot here, you know, this way, and then there it goes forward and back. So it's a little bit weird to manipulate, but I guess if you just make use of the arms a little bit, I think a round handle there probably would have been a little bit better because then it could pivot inside the hand. Um, but I guess if you really want to, you can tuck it in a little bit better. That's not bad. You just got to be careful. I mean, it, it moves fairly well freely. I'm just going to lose the Heat Hawk in general. How about that? Okay. Comes down to almost like the Seltam. Like, I think they could have engineered a little bit more maneuverability into it. Just to make it easier to function. But there you go. That's actually a pretty cool setup. That's a weird noise. And like I said, the gun can move like so, but that's neat. I dig that. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick comparison. Bring in some other MSD things and other origin things. So we'll go with the very first MSD thing I ever built. And that is a very dusty Dom test type, which was my first foray into, well, this. This is a really good kit, by the way. It's actually the only Dom I've built, now that I think about it. I still want that Zeku 2 test type that has the Dom legs on it. I just really dig that. Maybe I should pick that up while I can. I think it's still available a couple places. Because um, it's just a really fun half Dom, half Zeku design. Here we go. Kick his feet under him, like that. And I did a lot of painting on that one. Let's bring in Boo Boo Boy. So this one's from you know proper origin. 
we can still see like evolutions of the thing. Still one of the better kits of that year. And then, of course, the very last Zaku I did with the Char, Char version from Origin. I'm just like, hey, buddy. Boof. No, I'm just kidding. He would, he would never shoot his own men. Probably. I don't know. But uh, obviously, these two are very similar in design, if not almost the same kit. You know, it's like, uh, I do like the fact they gave you alternate feet here, like this upper foot part, because they do come with the ability to have that be regular color. So whatever is regular Zaku, so to speak, out of this, you can change it up ever so slightly to give a little bit more color separation or do what I did and add just some extra color for the heck of it. But uh, yeah, I dig it. I'm going to be I think I'm going to go on a Zaku run here for a little bit. I still have a couple other Zaku kits of different generations. And I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll just go ahead and knock out a few Zakus just for the heck of it. What do you guys think? Yes? Oh, by the way, I forgot the smoke bombs that are back there on the back. But guys, let me know what you think about this really weird version of a Zaku. Especially one that's uh, so kind of patchwork together. And give me a big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the MS100 contest if you have not. Links in the description down below. And by all means, check out the merch store where you can get normal Shoki stuff or MS100 gear. Uh, even the hashtag nub shaming shirt is all available right there. And as it goes, right now, all of the merch goes towards the charity. At least until the end of May. So, but guys, I will catch you later. Remember, as always, keep on building. <laughs>